do subscribe my channel if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 16 hibler dynamics the problem says that is the cord unravels from the wheels inner hub the wheel is rotating at 2 radian per second at the instant shown determine the velocities of point a and b so we are given this mechanism in which uh, this cord unravels from this inner hub and the disc is uh, the wheel is revolving with an angular velocity of 2 radian per second in the counterclockwise direction. So as we can see that um, this whole wheel is revolving about this particular point. So we can see directly that this will be the instantaneous center for this particular case. So we can say that uh, on the free body diagram this is our instantaneous center and as the disc is revolving in a counterclockwise direction so the the tangential velocity of point b will be in the downward direction like this so we will have the velocity of b like this and the velocity of a will be somehow like this so we can say that let's say that the velocity of b is like this this is the velocity of b and since this point a is revolving about that uh, instantaneous center so if we join this instantaneous center with a then the velocity of a will be perpendicular to this line so the velocity of a will be like this since um, we when once we find the instantaneous center we think of this point a as if it is revolving about this instantaneous center in a circular path like this so if, if this point A is revolving about this instantaneous center in a circular path like this, then the velocity will be tangent to that circular path. So the, the velocity of A is not, it's not mm, going to be horizontal, it's going to be making some angle with the horizontal. If the, if the disk or if the whole system was revolving about this point O, then the velocity of A uh, would be horizontal like this. But since the instantaneous center is not uh, at O, then the velocity of A is going to be uh, making 90 degree with the line joining in sustaining center and that point A. So we can say that the velocity of A is going to be like this. This is the velocity of A and it should be perpendicular with this line which joins the instantaneous center and that point A. So this is that. And similarly, we can say that uh, the velocity of b must be perpendicular to this line so this is we can now correct this this will be like this so this is the velocity of b now we can find the velocity of b we are given the uh, omega of the disk so that is 2 radian per second so we can say that the velocity of b will be equal to r of b instantaneous center times omega so r of b i of c will be from will be a position vector from instantaneous center to that point b so this will be we can say that this will be r of b instantaneous center and similarly we can say that v a will be equal to r of a instantaneous center times omega so this will be like this so the, if we draw a vector from instantaneous center to point A, then that will be R of A instantaneous center. So now we can say that VB, now R of B instantaneous center, this is equal to this plus this. So the radius of the outer circle is 5 inches and the radius of the inner circle in the, in the inner hub is 2 inches. So this is 2 plus 5. So this is total distance is 7 inches. So this means that this is 7 inches. So we can say that this is 7 times omega is 2. So this is 14 uh, inches per second. This is Vb. And similarly, we can say that Va, for Va, we need to find this. We need to find this. So we can consider this right angle triangle. And this length is 2. We can say that this length is from here to here this is 2 inches and from here to here this is we can say that this is uh, 5 inches so we can consider this right angle triangle and this is the hypotenuse so we can say that 
um, R of A I of C is equal to 2 square plus 5 square under the square root 5.385 inches and we can say that VA is equal to R of A I of C 5.385 into omega and omega is 2 so we can say this is 2 we can multiply this answer with 2 we will get VA equals to 10.770 inches per second so VA is 10.770 inches per second now we have to find uh, the angle of this VA with the horizontal so let's say that if I draw a horizontal line here then let's say that this angle is angle theta or let's say this angle is let's say angle alpha so now as we can see that um, this line is perpendicular with this vertical line and this VA is perpendicular with this line so if the angle between this line and this line is alpha then this angle is alpha as well so we can say that this angle is alpha as well so using this right angle triangle using this right angle triangle we can find alpha and we can say that 10 alpha is perpendicular so so this is the angle alpha the perpendicular is this and the base is this so 10 alpha will be 2 divided by 5 or we can say that alpha is equal to 10 inverse 2 divided by 5 this gives us 21.80 so alpha the angle of VA with the horizontal is 21.80 degrees so the velocity of A has a magnitude of 10.770 inches per second and it is making 21.80 degrees with the horizontal and that angle is in the clockwise direction. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics Chapter 16.